you know? I don't know. I've looked into, you know, I didn't, I didn't find out what exact drug they were thinking of prescribing me. But I've looked at, like, antidepressants in general, and the, the track record's kind of iffy. I mean, you can make your own decision about that. I don't know. But there are various side effects and various, you know, things where it didn't, it didn't help the patient and various... You know, it's, it's not like an antibiotic or something where it's pretty clear, like, look, you have this disease, we'll give you this antibiotic, it should work. And even in the case of antibiotics, at least it doesn't mess with your brain! <laughs> so you could still mentally say, wait, this is a reason for working. I don't know, I'm afraid it'll mess with my creativity, and they say, no, it won't, and I'm like, yeah, but I want to take that chance. It's my creativity. Only I would know if, 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 it, if it's tainted in some way. And if you're messing with my brain, then I will, might cease to know that. Ugh. I don't know. The, the therapist person said in this thing a couple weeks ago after, you know, a couple of attacks, and by the way, I've been fine these last two days. <laughs> not like I'm having an attack every other day. It's not the reason I haven't uh, updated in a while. No, no, no. I was out of town and random stuff. Um, but the therapist type person said, well, you know, we think uh, it, 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 post-traumatic stress disorder shouldn't have lasted this long, considering what you went through. I'm thinking maybe now it's depression, which I found kind of weird. I don't know uh, that I feel particularly depressed. You know, and they're like, oh, depression doesn't necessarily mean sadness. I'm like, why do you call it depression then? I don't know. Um, eh. As in the spiritual malnutrition video, I recognize the statement, the mild depression thing is being partially true. I hadn't used the word depression before. Apparently the definition of it is stretchier than I thought. Um, yeah, you know. Maybe I should talk to people more. Or something like that. Do my creative stuff a bit more. Actually, I do it all the time. <laughs> But I could do more in the sense of uh, of actually getting such and such book written, and not just having notes. Perhaps, perhaps there's an element of fear. I suppose that that's, you know pretty common among big dreams and such to have fear of well, you know, like and do this this way or that way. Am I doing it right? Am I? I don't know. You know, I don't criticize uh, other people who who are on mental medication. Because I don't know their situations. As I was saying at the very beginning of this video, the whole argument is, look, I know myself. I'll make my own decisions on that. And so I extend it to other people. I presume you know yourself. And if you think that medication is what you need, then I'm probably not going to stand in your way. Obviously, there may be extreme circumstances where I'm going to say, look, this is messed up. But in general, I'm fine. And they tell me, oh, a lot of, a lot of people are on anti-anxiety medication. A lot of people are on this and that. And I'm like, yeah, but... I don't know if I want to go there and, and mess with my brain. It's my brain. I love my brain. You know? That's why I've never had alcohol. I never will. I don't want to touch my brain. It's very important to me. Mind is precious. Well, we eventually came up with a deal, therapist person and I. We'd write out a list of activities I would be expected to do if I was on the drug, and then I'll prove that I can do these activities anyway. You know. Which really hasn't been all that hard so far. So I'm not on drugs right now. I don't plan to be in the future. I don't know. I'll just... Yeah, I don't know where I'm coming from on this. It's just this just hesitation, this... This sense that there may be biases in the system of, uh, you know, are, are we prescribing things too much? I heard somewhere, and someone should look this statistic up for me, but I heard somewhere that 80% of people who, who, who go in for mental problems, 80% of them, I heard, uh, have one visit and get a drug and never have another visit again. Which, on the face of it, may sound like, oh, I guess the drug's working. On the other side, it sounds like, wait a minute, is anyone actually dealing with their problems? Notice getting drugs? And that's another thing I'm afraid of. I'm afraid the drug kind of masks over the problem. 
you know, and, and particularly considering A, I could see the the environmental factors, the stress which led to all this, and B, I have thus far changed those factors and concurrently changed uh, the progression of my problems, and things have gotten better. Um, so, 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 you know, well, the environmental road with that, and I'm afraid that the drug would just sort of paper things over and make you seem better when really you're not, or something. Um, you know, 80% I heard someplace, some article I read somewhere. Yeah, I feel that way. That they just will get on this drug and then, and what, do you, do you ever talk your problems out? Do you ever, do you ever get to the root cause? I'm worried, you know, I'm worried it's like there's a shard of glass through my arm and I'll just be taking a painkiller when really I ought to maybe remove the glass out of my arm. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't. I can't criticize in all situations. I don't know what it's like for all the people. I don't know what it's like for any of the people besides myself. All I know is uh, I'm doing it my way. Not on drugs right now. I don't plan to be. I think I'm, I'm going to be okay. I think I've been slowly getting better, and that trend will continue. And if the mild depression thing is partially true, then. Maybe I can deal with that consciously, and thus consciously know, you know, what's going on inside my own head, my own relationships. Maybe keep a little bit of wisdom that way, a little bit of control or something. I don't know. Thanks for watching. See you later.